In this how-to video, I'm going to explain the feature of uh, foreign security principles within the virtual identity server. This is an extremely powerful feature of VIS for a multi-forest customer. So, in a multi-forest environment, um, if you have trust between two different forests, which most customers do uh, in a, in a multi-forest scenario, but not necessarily, if you have a trust between uh, two different forests, in, when you add a user from uh, a group, uh, so say Mike exists in Forest 1, if I add that user, Mike, from Forest 1 to a group in Forest 2, he actually gets entered in and created as a foreign security principle. It's a concept that, that um, Active Directory does, and it creates it as a foreign security principle because it's foreign to that Active Directory forest, meaning Forest 2. So this can present some challenges. One, when you look at the, the user, or look at the group rather, you see the SID of this user. You, you don't know which, and especially if you have, say you have five uh, forests, ten forests, which is not uncommon for a multi-forest customer, you, one, you have no idea who this user is or what forest they came from. It's very hard to understand and, and, and know and, and know about your environment. Um, VIS can translate this for you. So what I'm going to do is kind of set it up, and actually, I, I don't have two forests here. I'm going to use Atom, which actually does the same thing when you add a Windows user to an Atom uh, environment. So what I'm going to do, I'm going down here to uh, the roles in this Atom instance here, and you can see the CN equals administrators. So what I'm going to do is come to the member attribute, and we're going to edit this. And you can see that right now there is a local Atom member that's a member of this, right? And I'm going to view this through our LDAP manager application as well. So I'm on this administrators, and you can see there's that one Atom user. So it's showing a distinguished name, or administrators group, rather. And you can see that it's showing that distinguished name. What I'm going to do here now, bring back up that uh, pop-up, I'm going to add a Windows account. So I'm going to type in administrator, do a check name, and I'm going to pick the local Windows user here, administrator. So I've selected that, and I click OK, and apply. What that does is, let's go ahead and do a refresh here. Now, when I'm looking through VIS, or any LDAP editor, you'll see that we still see that administrator's group, and here is that SID. So we're looking at this ugly GUID, um, you know, who is that user? It says foreign security principles, right? So that's the same exact concept. But I have no idea who that is. Um, it's, it's impossible as an administrator to understand this and know where these users are. So this would be the same exact concept for Active Directory groups across multiple forests. So what I'm going to do, come in here to the VIS configuration. I'm going to drill down to our system visa set, because this is the actual Atom instance that I'm connected to, and check this checkbox. So check Translate Foreign Security Principles. I'm going to do a save, save XML, and restart our service. So as simple as a checkbox, what VIS is now going to do is translate these foreign security principles for me automatically. That means whether I'm using a reporting dashboard like this, which is a web-based reporting dashboard, an LDAP editor, whatever I'm using to browse through VIS, I'm going to actually see the translated um, foreign security principles. So. Let's go take a look at that again. Whoops, I clicked on the wrong uh, node. And here we are. So look, now we still see that one that was a DN. This user here at the top, administrator. So look at that. It translated the SID into the distinguished name. And I can see that it came from OU equals AD DC VIS net, which is the, the VIS user here, right? So this is the OU AD node. So I can see that it's this account. Uh, here in this CN equals user, CN equals administrator. So in a multi-force scenario, you would now have the ability to see, go to force two, and I could see that Mike was added to that group. Um, you could see this across all of the different forests that you have. This alone is a very powerful tool um, enabling an administrator to be able to see foreign security principles, translate those automatically uh, through a web app. Uh, we could do a report based on this if we wanted to. Um, so I could come into our compliance policy engine, run a report, pull that out to an Excel spreadsheet, HTML, email it to a user. So great um, value and uh, power for an administrator uh, dealing with a multi-force scenario. 
Thank you for your time, and please take a look at the other how-to videos that we have on enabling features within the Virtual Identity Server.